Hi everyone, this is Rishabh Chatterjee and in this video we'll be talking about the question What is your greatest strength? Alright, so in the previous video we spoke about another question but in this video we'll be speaking about what is your greatest strength. So basically this is again a common type of question where you have to make an answer and be prepared before you actually go for the interview. So what should your thought process be? Alright, so let's start with the thought process which is going to be that number one. Take a paper and write down all the strengths that you believe you have. Now be careful that you are writing the strength that you really have. Don't write just like you think this is your strength so you start writing. Think and then write on the paper because you have to be honest so that the process goes properly. So the first process is think properly and write down all your strengths. Alright, you have taken a paper, written down the strengths. Now the st second process is that there are three categories that you have to divide these strengths into. Number one is knowledge based skills. Number two is transferable skills. And number three is personal traits. Now you might be thinking what does this mean? Which category should I put which skill into? Alright, so let me give you an example. Knowledge based skills are skills that you learn while doing any education or course or some kind of technical knowledge that you have. This will come into under knowledge based skills. Number two. Transferable skills are skills that you learn from some experiences like maybe people skills, analytical skills, communication skills. These are the skills that come under transferable skills. Number three is personal traits. Under this you can have dependable, responsible, flexible, team player. So these are some of the skills that come under personal traits category. So write down all your skills and then divide it into categories. All right. Now you have divided all the skills under different categories. Now, main part, you have to choose which is your greatest strength and this is something again you have to think relevant to the job, which is the best strength and which is your greatest strength and decide that one strength. Now you have decided on the strength. But how do you know that how are you going to talk about this strength? So this strength that you have selected should be relevant to the job. So there might be few strengths that you are really good in but it's not relevant to the job so you have to choose a strength that is relevant to the job. After that you have to practice the answer that you are going to give alright. You might think that yes I'll be able to answer directly I'll go to the interview and answer but no. Before going to the interview you should have your answer ready. Also keep one strength don't try to like have multiple strengths one greater strength. After that, now you have selected your strength. Now you have to have a story of why this is your greatest strength. So you should be able to justify from a previous experience why you think this is your greatest strength and this is what is going to create a good impact. So the interviewer will come to know that yes, this candidate has that skill depending on how you tell your story. So you should have a story ready about that particular skill. And when you have the story ready, it gives a proof to the interviewer that yes, the candidate is speaking honestly that this is the skill, this is the greatest strength and this is what he has done in the past, he or she and that is why that candidate believes that that is the greatest strength that the candidate has. Alright, so this was a complete thought process for the question, what is your greatest strength? If you found the video useful, please do click on the like button, share this video with your friends too and also subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon. Also follow us on Instagram at the red ed yoda, e -D -Y -O -D -A. That is it for today's video. See you in the next one. Till then, bye bye.